Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. In this video, we will configure incident priority. And what exactly we will do? We will remove priority five choice from priority field. So there is a choice in priority field that is priority five. We will remove that particular field. So that will be our first task. And second task in this implementation would be that we have to make P4 as default priority. So let's see how exactly you can do this configuration in your instance. We will start with our first task which is making the priority five choice as deactivated. So we will deactivate it. So I will right click on the priority. I will click on configure dictionary. And here I will check the choices. Here we have priority five, which is for incident. Let me check for incident quickly. I will just drag the table field so that I can see for which table it is showing. So if I check this, okay, we have it for task. I think we don't have specifically for incident. So what I will do, I will just deactivate this one. So we will deactivate this one. And basically this is for incident. So do I need to, should I change these values? Ideally not. I should do dictionary override. And if I go to dictionary override, and if I go here and I think overall dictionary override, we cannot add the choices. So we have this column here where default value is five, but I cannot add choices. How can I add it? So I will go here and I will maybe remove that because I have to uh, remove that particular choice from the list. So maybe this one, maybe let's remove it directly from here. That's totally fine. We will not use, uh, uh, we will not create any kind of separate choices for incident for now. So I will make it inactive. So we will make planning as inactive. Another important thing that in incident, we have made the default value as five. So for that, I will go to dictionary override again. I will go to incident and here I will make it four because I want priority four to be as a default value. So I have updated this. Now, if I click on this, absolutely, you can see that. Priority is showing four now, which is also a default value. That means you are done. You are done with the configuration of priority choices. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.